Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Down to Earth and it's Happy New Project Day. Um, I love gardening projects, big and small. And I just wanted to take you from the very beginning of one of our projects. And this one here is a big one. Um, so what you're looking at here is a eastern facing slope. Um, so it's the front of the house and it overlooks a beautiful little pond. The size of the project is about 100 feet by 100 feet. And just to give you a little bit of history behind it, this lot here was completely wooded. Um, there was a lot of ash trees in here that were very damaged and they also blocked the view of the pond. So when they got so damaged that we thought they were getting dangerous, we decided to take all of them down. So those have all been cut down. But what then happened is holy brush. Um, everything really grew up because of course it's getting full sun now. So what we like to do is really preserve um, our view and then also give the house some really nice curb appeal. But then also we want to keep the natural grading um, and just really have it be more of an organic look. So good design is typically solving some problems um, and we're solving a couple of problems here. So I just want to walk you through that and then as this project continues I would love to show you some different stages of it um, and I personally can't wait to see the outcome. So of course problem number one is it is a pretty big slope here and um, we do want to keep it looking organic like I said. So the solution, the design solution is there's a lot of ledge and boulders that are in here. And when the trees were taking out, we started doing some digging and some other projects. We found a lot of boulders that we set aside. So we're going to use those boulders as natural retaining walls. Um, and we're going to start the first one up top here. And I am just going to walk around so I can give you um, some different views of the project but you can see a little peak of some of the boulders up here. So I love in design and in projects reusing what you have. So I'm really pleased about the boulders and excited about the boulder retaining wall. Um, so that's going to be done up top. Now the second issue when you're doing a project is you're always working with a budget. So luckily we have the boulders to use as a retaining wall. Um, but to be honest with you, I was really hoping for three terraces on this slope here. So one at the top to hold the lawn in place, one kind of midsection, and then one down by the road, because um, you will see that there is a grade change there. However, because of the budget, I'm, I don't think that's going to be possible. So we're just trying to, you know, pick and choose what's really important to us and what's really necessary for the property to keep things intact um, and also have it looking nice. So what we're going to do is definitely do the top wall and we're hoping to put some steps, some natural looking um, raw edge steps in the middle here so you can access the front if you're doing a walkthrough because of course my plan is to have some gardens down here I'd like to access um, and really enjoy. And then instead of doing the mid uh, terrace we're going to try to eliminate that and just give it a really gentle grading here and then we're going to work on the, uh, the bottom terrace or tier and just try to minimize that a little bit. So very exciting. Um, we've got, you know, a lot of, we'll call it scrub in here right now because there's a lot of poison ivy. There's a lot of grapevine. Um, I've noticed some sassafras um, saplings and whatnot. So step number one um, after the design, of course, is going to be stripping all of this scrub. Um, I, I guess the guys call it grubbing. So they're going to grub out the property here and then we can see, we can really see the lay of the land. So very exciting. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to give you a quick little tour and then I'm going to keep you posted on progress.
everyone. It's a beautiful fall day and I wanted to come out and bring you our progress on our boulder retaining walls or our rock walls. So the excavators have been running for almost a week now and they've started grubbing out the area. They've actually found a few more rocks to use for our project and they started on the upper level stacking the stones. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like um, kind of midway here. I think it's coming along really great. What they're doing is they're putting down some of the larger rocks for the base um, and really nestling them right into the soil and then they're dry stacking the rocks so they've used some of the smaller ones and incorporated them um, just to piece things together and make sure that it's really sturdy because really the purpose of this is for erosion. Um, I'm also going to have some pockets here, but I'm a gardener. I'm dying to plant some of these pockets here with some plants, and that will also help with any um, draining or runoff. So they're using the material on site to fill a little bit in the back, and then we are gonna bring in some fill for drainage in the back of the wall, which you always wanna do for our stability. But it's such a great use of all the plentiful stones that we have on site. And I think they're really beautiful. They have a really nice natural aesthetic. Um, I think they really go with the property and have the rustic look that we're looking for. But a lot of these stones are dirty and until it rains, you're really not gonna be able to see how beautiful they are. So I wanted to show you because there were some chips here on the ground. And I just wanna show you the, the texture. I believe that this piece here might be some granite um, and then there's also this greenish gray stone which is really beautiful so we're gonna have some grays some beige some greens a um, little bit of white so I think it's gonna be really pretty but just to give you a better look, I'm gonna walk a little bit because we are leaving a gap for some slabs, for some steps. Um, we really wanna be able to access down through the front from the front lawn because we are right across the street from our waterfront lot. So we wanna be able to have nice direct access to the water. So we're leaving, I think it's about six feet here and I don't want the staircase to come down through the lot straight, so it's going to kind of meander um, diagonally. So it looks quite different than the last time that you saw it. They've grubbed out a little bit of the property here too, and you can see where they're stashing all the stones um, that they're picking from and that they did find quite a bit more. There's a huge piece of ledge over here that they were able to uncover. So we're thinking now that it's all grubbed out and we can really see the lay of the land that we might have to go back to our original idea of doing one um, shorter wall kind of midway really just to help with the grading of the property because we're, we're trying to do things in keeping with what's already here. So speaking of what's already here, we were out having a little job meeting this week and we had to stop all of our work because there were some baby snappers um, and that we had to do a quick little rescue. So we rescued them and brought them down to the pond and I have a little bit of film on that, which was really fun. So that's it for now, but we're gonna keep filming so you can see things as they go. And I hope you you've enjoyed this as much as I do. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and I am back with our boulder wall project, which we do have to wrap up for the year because um, winter started, we got our first snow last week um, and we're not gonna be able to continue to work on it for the winter, but we're in a pretty good spot. So I wanted to show you where we landed and where we're gonna leave it until spring um, because actually quite a bit of work has done, been done out here and it's really coming together. So I wanted to show you the final product of the walls here 
And I actually think it is a good time to leave it and let it sit for a little bit because I wanna make sure that everything settles before I start planting. Um, and I'm also going to plant a lot of the pockets that we talked about. So I'm sure, you know, especially as it starts to thaw in the early spring, we're gonna see where it's going to drain, need some more soil, a little more fill, and where I'm going to really need to plant those pockets. But I'm very happy with the outcome. The last thing that we did was, um, if you remember, we left a break kind of in the middle because we wanted to do a set of steps. And it didn't work out exactly as I had planned. However, I think that we had to get a little creative and it worked out even better. So we left a five foot opening here because we wanted a wider set of steps here that leads from the house down through the middle of the lot um, and right to the water. So this isn't going to be a main stairway. This is really just um, probably more for me and hopefully grandkids and guests to walk down through the gardens and really enjoy them. I'm planning on having some Adirondack chairs down here to also enjoy the view, not just the gardens and the walls. Um, so they're more for me. They're not going to be any kind of main staircase. They're not going to be used in the winter, which is really important because then, of course, here in New England, we're going to be thinking about ice and snow. So I don't need to worry about that. They're not going to be in use in the winter. But what happened was we encountered a big piece of ledge right in the center. So we didn't plan for that. And when it comes to design, one of the main things that we're doing um, as designers is we are dealing with challenges and trying to get creative with them and make things safe and beautiful. So I think this worked out really good because instead of having just a straight run, this adds a little bit of character because what we did is we ended up with a set of stairs and then a nice landing and the landing hasn't been done yet that'll be in the spring um, and then a curved landing and another set of steps so it's really adding a lot of character and i think visually it looks really great um, from the water and the road and coming up the driveway so in this video, I not only wanted to show you progress, but I also wanted to talk about um, stair planning and um, step uh, selection, because I think that those things may help you at home if you're planning some outdoor um, steps or stairways. So I love the organic -y look of this and using the natural boulders. So my original plan was to use um, just regular large field stone steps and then stack them to make a staircase. And I've done that on some other projects and I really love the natural look and how they came out. So we went to the quarry, we did some shopping, and the problem that we were up against is we needed so many of them, so we have five here, and then up top we have six, that we couldn't get enough um, stones that were consistent enough in their size, and in particularly the rise, so the height of the step. Um, and that's really important when you're installing a staircase because you really want it to be very consistent. Um, you know, you really should check your local building codes, but on average, a rise is about seven inches and um, the run, which is the depth of the tread, so from the nose, the front to the back, should be about 11 on average. So we really wanted that seven inch rise and we just couldn't find enough steps. So the next material that we looked at was some precast um, stone or concrete, and we did quite a bit of shopping. And I will say that they are less expensive. That's one of the advantages. They're typically made from concrete, gravel, sand, pebbles, um, and then they're dyed. So they do have um, you know, lots of regularity to them in shape and color and you know a lot of selection 
However, for me, I think they just didn't look organic enough. And there are a couple of downfalls about the precast concrete I want to tell you about at home, just so you're aware. So there's two different ways that they can color the concrete. So they can either put a finish on the surface or they can color all the way through. And so the treads and the pavers, um, this applies to both. So this is also if you're doing a patio. Um, the pavers and the steps that are just dyed on the top, the problem is they chip off. And I do have that kind of paver on my patio. And when it chips, it's a different color underneath. So that's kind of a problem. And you are gonna get some wear and tear over time. That's pretty normal. The other issue is um, the sunlight and um, the way that it hits it, you know, it can discolor them and they can look spotty eventually. So, you know, or the, um, the color can kind of wear unevenly. And so I just, I really didn't like that. And like I said, they just weren't organic enough looking for me. So I think we ended up at a very happy medium, which is the granite treads. So I'm really happy with the finished product here. Um, I think the steps, the natural granite is gorgeous. And you can see here that the treads, they have been wire cut, so they're a little rougher, um, which will make them a little safer, less slippery. And then they have this uh, very natural looking edge here, which is kind of like a rough cut which I think really adds to that organic -y, natural look that I'm looking for. So we do have a sample here of what we're gonna use for our landing, just so you can see. So it is the granite with the wire cut surface here, but it's a lot thinner in depth, which of course makes it less expensive, but it really doesn't need to be, you know, certainly not this thick because it's going to be just a landing here. And so we're going to piece these together here to make a pretty landing because we have kind of an odd shape here. So that wraps up our boulder wall project for this year. Um, however, in the spring, I'm gonna bring you a little more on this project. Of course, there's gonna be lots of planting, some uh, new gardens being installed. And also we're gonna continue with our terracing and do a second, maybe a third wall in the front. So I will keep you posted next year. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you liked it, tap like, and of course, subscribe to our channel for some future gardening fun.